It's no secret that at this point, the London property market is a complete joke. It'll cost you five grand a month and the soul of your firstborn son as a deposit for the chance, for the mere chance of renting a cupboard in a crack den in Hackney. And nowhere displays the absolute absurdity of the London property market better than the YouTube channel, The Luxury Home Show. I haven't watched any of these videos yet, but I can already tell they're absolute gold. We got here inside a 5.25 million pound London apartment. Apartment. Now, I don't know if I'm just stuck in my ways. I don't know if I'm just a housey man. But if I'm going to spend five million pounds on a property, it's, it, it's got to be a house. It can't be a flat. Like, I can't have neighbours after paying 5.25 million pounds. So uh, let, let's give it a watch. We're going to be taking you inside a two bed, two bath apartment. It's only two bedrooms. Bro, two bedrooms. I thought this would be like a floor. I thought this would be spanning a floor. Five million pounds, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. You are taking the piss. 1,000 600 square feet, bruv, for five million pounds. That has just under 1,700 square feet of internal space. Oh, that's so generous. Incredible views over the Covent Garden. Oh, bloody hell, you get to look at a load of tourists and some, some, some concrete. God, God, wait, where do I send my deposit? I'm sorry, but no amount of upbeat music can make this look like it's worth five million pounds. It just can't. But I'm gonna pop a quick floor plan up for you guys so you can get your bearings as we make our way through this lateral apartment. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Those bedrooms aren't even big. I thought for two bedrooms, for a two bedroom apartment that costs five million quid, they'd at least be like large bedrooms. But no, they're just like, like, regular bedrooms. And we've got this incredible European oak flooring. It's a floor. It's, there's nothing special about that floor. It is simply a floor. Okay, it might be slightly nicer than the shitty, cheap flooring you get at most new builds. But at the end of the day, it is simply a floor. A wood floor. There is nothing special about it whatsoever. But here we have a WC That's a nice sink, to, to be my... fair. I, li I like that sink. We've got this really nice office space. Bruv, you're paying five million quid for a flat and your office is in the hallway. Your office is in the hallway. It's done its best to utilise the space of the apartment. Bro, if you're paying five, five million quid, you should not have to utilize the space. You should have excess space. Yeah, we've got this really bright, open, airy space. I'll start here. My living room now is like three times bigger than that. Not to flex, not to flex or anything. I don't know how much my flat is worth because I didn't buy it. I'm simply renting, but there's no way this place I'm living in right now is worth over like, I don't know, 600k, 700k. And my living room is three times the size of that, if not more. So yeah, L. Hold that L, whoever buys this fucking place. We've got massive windows looking down to the- Not that big, they're windows. They're not massive windows, they are windows. We've got the glass oval table in the middle. Sticking with the Art Deco theme, we have the pin cushion. I really feel, I feel sorry for her. Actually, no, I don't. What am I on about? What am I on about? I feel sorry for whoever's bought this place. If you buy this place as your main residence, you are in incredibly stupid. It doesn't matter how much money you have, you are incredibly stupid. Unless you're a, like a billionaire that's buying this place as like a, 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 a secondary residence in London that you visit occasionally. Spending five million quid on something like that, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now, as we head into the kitchen, it narrows down at the entrance. We switch to the Italian marble flooring throughout the whole of this area. Very glossy. We've even got the black rim around the Central Peninsula. Hang on, wait, sorry, okay, hang on, hang on. That is the kitchen. Bro, that is the kitchen in a five million pound flat. Sorry, that just didn't sink in. That's the, that's the kitchen in a five million pound flat. It's just not very big, is it? <laughs> like that is smaller than my kitchen right now. I hate to brag. I hate to flex on all you London motherfuckers because I don't live in London anymore. I don't live in London anymore. So my kitchen is larger than this for probably about 10 times le less, 10, 10 times lower the price. My English is not working today, but you know what I mean. We've got a massive window behind top Tom, giving you the perfect view of that Christmas tree. This is like fucking Black Mirror, isn't it? Like, this is like, this is like Black Mirror. Like, average size two bedroom flat in London costs five million pounds. The first real spacious large. You are taking the piss. That's one of the bedrooms. That's one of the two bedrooms in this five million pound flat. That's what, fuck me. You have room for a bed. A, a, a chest of drawers and a TV on the chest of drawers. And that is it. You can't fit anything else in that fucking room. First real spacious, large double bedroom that I'm going to show you. I, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Bro, did you just say spacious? Spacious, large. This guy is such an estate agent, isn't he? <laughs> 
<laughs> from what I can tell, the business model of this channel is like um, estate agents will get them on to like get them in like these properties or whatever. Or like the people say, I don't know, I don't know. But effectively, these guys are like sort of estate agency types. And that is such an estate agent thing to say. Like going into basically a couple of going, oh yeah, this is a very spacious room. Like literally just trying to gaslight you into thinking it's a big room. Bro, anyone with eyes can see that is not a spacious room. That is a standard bedroom, if that. Like growing up, I lived in a really small house and my bedroom was quite small as a result of that. And I'm pretty sure even that room was bigger than this. So we've got some snake skin touches in here as well, which really fits in with that on these shelves as well. Oh, yeah. That's just ugly. Sorry, bro. That is just that is just ugly. Oh, that's so fucking ugly. It's like something you see on Facebook Marketplace that someone's giving away for free. Yeah, real attention to detail in here. They haven't cut any corners. Mirror storage. I like this mirror too. Do you think they, obviously they won't do this because it's, it's, it's their job to sort of sell these places, I guess. Which we ever they just turn around and go, actually, this is a bit shit. Like, why would you, why would you pay for this? That'd be so based if they did that. And then we have this feature niche in here where we have the spotlight up above. So it'd be a great spot to put some product. Is that not just normal? Like, is that just not a normal thing to have in like a bar from shelf? I'm pretty sure most bar from shelves have that. That shouldn't be advertised as a feature in a five million pound flat. We have a kind of inverted version of that flooring with the carpet. Yeah. So we've got the black borders and the white in the middle, which is cool. Bit of a contingency. You are taking the business. That is the master bedroom in a five million pound flat. You are taking the fucking piss. You're taking the piss, sir. I mean, it's a fine size bedroom. I mean, I keep going on about the price of it, but if you're paying that much, you expect like at least a few of them bedrooms, right? Or am I mental? Am I delusional? Am I out of touch for thinking for five million pounds you should get more than this? I get it, it's in like right bang smack in the middle of Covent Garden, but fucking come on. Ceiling heights aren't compromised when we come in here. Again, it's absolutely huge, allowing you to have some very large mirrors. Feels very open in here. That is a nice bar from to be fair, I'll give him that. That is a nice bathroom. Look at that. Look at that. That is a sick bathroom. Oh, that's the ensuite. That's that is quite nice. I really like this bathroom. I rate it. All right, that's that. I'm sure they've got a few other like London property type videos. So we'll watch one more. Oh, inside a 3.85 million pound Westminster penthouse. Go on, let's, let's give this a look. <laughs> guys and welcome back to another episode yeah, I've, walked, I've walked past this place so many times i've always wondered like what the flats in there look like anyway let's let's Let's, let's give it a look. Let's see if they're worth nearly 4 million quid. They won't be. In my eyes, nothing, nothing can make a flat worth 4 million quid. Now, the property we're going to be taking you inside today is a 3.85 million pound penthouse apartment and it's listed with Beecham Estates. It's two bed, two bath. Okay, you know what? It's slightly bigger than the last one. Three bedrooms. You know what? A one as study. So it's just a cupboard. Base. Okay, so it's, it's about the same size as the last one then. But that bedroom looks nicer. That does look like a nicer bedroom. So we're going to head in. It's this building right behind me and it looks gorgeous. I mean, the building. It, don't, don't Stop lying. Stop lying. It's not a gorgeous looking building. It's an okay looking building at best. But like, I feel as though a, a gorgeous looking building would be like one of them traditional like London you know, the the, the, the big, so like the old, the, the one we looked at last time, that was a gorgeous building. This just, I don't know, something about it's just wrong. Do you know what I mean? Now we have direct access to the apartment from the lift. What? Well, you come out of the lift into the flat. Okay, that's that's quite cool. That's quite cool. The other one didn't have that. If we come this way, I'm gonna take you swoop straight in to the living area. Now the layout of this apartment. All right, once again, got a flex. My living room is about three times the size of that. Sorry, just got just got a flex. And we've also got access out to the balcony. Well, I fucking hope so. Imagine she was just like, "There's a balcony there, but you don't have access to it. You're not allowed it. You're not allowed access to the balcony." But let's come out here, Tom. Not a little, little nitpick here, but not a fan of the dots on the windows. Makes it feel like a uni accommodation or something. And you don't want that when paying four million pounds for a, for a flat, do you? Wow. What do you mean, wow? <laughs> You're looking at like a road. Your view is a road and a bit of London that is like half under construction. We've also got these trees here, which I think make a big difference. London people, when 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 there is a tree, I can say that now because I don't live in London anymore. All the way along the side of your open plan area and just allows so much light to come through, doesn't it? I mean, it, it's sli I think this one is slightly more value for money than the last one, but I still think it's a bit shit. So like four million quid is a bit shit. And I'm not even like one of these types that's like, oh, why don't you spend that money and go get a proper massive out in the countryside? Because that just sounds like an absolute burden. Like imagine having like a, a seven bedroom house. Well, fuck, what do you even do with that? I'm more subscribed to the idea of buy somewhere that fits your needs, but is also value for money. If that makes any sense at all. We've got some views as well towards Westminster, which is pretty yeah. cool. Oh, you can see Big Ben. Okay, that's that, that's 
quite cool. But you can see all the way down to the other side of the apartment now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is only about 10 metres away, if that. We've got blinds all for these yeah, windows. Yeah, keeps it so. nice and private. Exactly. Surely that should just be like a standard. Like, what? 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 In my flat, I get blinds! I get blinds! Some people on the street don't look at me! Yeah, we've got a nice dining area. We've got the herringbone floor throughout here too. But and the we... floor heating as well, it's worth yes. noting. Right, and the floor heating is pretty sick. I, I, I just, I, in my new flat, I have it. And when you step on a little bit that's like especially heated, oh, it is Oh, it, it's so good. It's so it's it's such a wonderful feeling. And then over here we have the boiling hot water tap. Those just sound fucking dangerous. Like knowing me, I would have I would scold my hands for life on one of them. So no matter how much money I have, I'm never getting one of them installed. Fuck that. Such a liability. Worth noting as well, inside this apartment complex, there is another kitchen. Yes. Like a communal area kitchen mm -hmm. downstairs, which is cool. So if you wanted to, yeah. Go down there, yeah, and it's fully equipped as well. You've got. Pretty much oven, the same, I'm pretty same sure, setup yeah. up here, I think, yeah. That sounds utterly horrifying. Cooking your dinner in front of others. Fuck that. I never use, like, communal, um, what they call facilities. Like, you know, when you live in, like, an apartment building and there's, like, a communal gym, a communal, like, I don't know, work area. Never use them. Never. Because, like, I'll have to, like, interact with other people that live in my building. Why would I want to do with that? Why would, why the fuck would I want to do that? I am way too awkward for that. Tom, do you want to take us down to yes. the bedrooms? Let's swap over. Let's do it. So we're going to take you down this wing. Wing? Ooh, that's a very fancy term for a hallway. This man is a certified estate agent. Fuck me. And I use estate agent as a derogatory term, by the way. Like, estate agents just, like, irk me. They just get under my skin. Do you know what I mean? Like, so a lot of them are nice. A lot of them are nice and honest and everything. But at least half of them are just dickheads. Like This is bedroom three, but currently being used as a study. It's a good use because it's a slightly smaller room. Uh, you know, that is actually like a decent size like office room. I'll give them that. I don't know why they've got like a fucking wind up telephone like this is World War One or something. But you know what? That's a decent size little little office there. We're going to take you into bedroom two now. Soft carpets in these rooms, which is nice. All right, that is a small bedroom. That is a very small bedroom. Can you even get like a TV in there? You can't even get like a like a chest of drawers with a TV on it in there without like obstructing the walkway. Dressing area? Yeah. It's a good use of that space. Bro, have you just called that a dressing area? This guy, I need to see more of this guy. He really gets under my fucking skin. Dressing area. Bro, it is an indent in a wall. A recess here being used as a kind of dressing area. Bro, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! What the fuck are you on about? Now we're in the principal suite. Jazz is currently backing up into what is like a dressing area. Okay, now that is a that is a little dressing area. You could consider that a dressing area. An indent in a wall isn't a fucking dress area, mate. But that is a nice bedroom. I like that bedroom. Yeah. If we pop through, we can see the whole yeah, bedroom. Yeah, that's now. nice. That's a nice bedroom. You know what? I'll give it to him. That is a nice fucking bedroom. I like that. I like that bed a lot. I think I'm like 6'2", 6'3", six, 6'3". So... Oh, six, six, Fuck off. I don't like this guy. <laughs> Good height there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, we can see it's a tall ceiling without you going, oh, I'm 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, all right, we get it, you're tall. You're tall. And due to that, you're desirable to move. All right, we get it. Fuck off. Same sort of recess in the other bedroom. Don't call it a dressing area. A very area. low set area. down bed. Thank you. Thank you for not calling it a dressing area. We actually have, I believe, the uh, horticultural hall down there. What a fucking horrific view. <laughs> what an awful view. You're literally just looking into other people's flats and shit. And for that much money, you'd, you'd want to you'd wanna be like not looking into other people's flats in like a, a, a weird warehouse building. We're going to head up to the roof terrace now because there's a social space up there and it's got some insane views. That sounds fucking horrifying. Like a social space with people in my building. I have to fucking live. I have to live amongst these people. I'd rather them just not know me because if they know me, there's a chance that they will not like me. And I I'd rather just stay neutral. Do you know what I mean? That is quite nice, to be fair. That is that is actually quite nice. All right, well, that is the state of the London property market at the moment. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see another video like this because I like making videos like this. All right, in a bit.